Do you know that when you visit a website, it tracks not just the IP address, it also tracks which browser you are using and its settings. It tracks your operating system, whether you are using Windows, macOS, or Linux. It tracks your screen size and installed fonts. It tracks which browser extension you have installed and it also tracks your system language and time zone. All of these form what we call your digital fingerprint. That is why most of the platforms, even after changing your location with a VPN, they will still flag your account, they will still ban your account because they used your fingerprint to detect you that you are still the person opening the other account. So if you want to um, stay anonymous, bypass geo restrictions, manage multiple accounts and wallets without being flagged. If you want to avoid your browser fingerprint being tracked, I recommend using Go Login, which is an anti dictate browser that helps, you know, crypto traders, investors and web trade users stay secure, anonymous and manage multiple accounts across exchanges, wallets and platforms without getting flagged, tracked or banned. Let me show you how it works. Head on to gologin.com. As you can see, I'm already on the website. So with this platform, you can manage multiple accounts from one device. Okay. Here you can see download go login for windows. So it kind of auto detects your operating system. Okay. So if you are using, um, let's say here, um, Linus, macOS, and even macOS M series, this, um, platform will detect that and you go ahead and download the version of the operating system you're using. We even have an application in Google Play Store where you can download and use Go Login app as well. Okay. So there's a lot you can do with this um, application. If I scroll down, you can see here, manage all your accounts safely from one device. If you scroll down, you can see no bans or suspicious login on any site. Assess account from any location, share account easily with any team member. So all of this you can do with Go Login because it creates a unique digital identity for each account. So that's what's up. Now to begin, all you need to do is to go ahead and download your own version of the operating system you're using, install and go ahead and create an account with this website and log into your account. When you must have downloaded and installed the application, you will see a shortcut on your desktop. Go ahead and launch Go Login Browser. Okay. So when you launch the browser, it should take you to what I will call your dashboard. Okay. But actually we call this a workspace. In, in Go Login, you can create many workspace. If I click on these three horizontal lines, you can see this is the active workspace or guy investopedia. I have another one tech staff. I have another one HR, which are unpaid. Okay. So these are different workspaces. Now inside the workspace, you have profiles. So here I have by B2. I have by beat. Okay. Now this one is currently running this one. I can run this one. I have Metamax two and Metamax I have Coinbase Binance and I have some, you know, um, social media accounts here. Now the idea is this: go login, create a unique digital, you know, fingerprint for every profile you create. Now, if you are take for example, you are farming airdrop, and you are meant to use only one MetaMask wallet, okay, to farm the airdrop. Um, if you try using more than one MetaMask wallet with an ordinary browser, then we know that. It is same you that is using all this wallet because your digital fingerprint is unique. Okay. Now, when you use a browser like Go Login, Go Login creates a unique digital fingerprint for each of the MetaMask wallets you are using. Like I created MetaMask 2 and MetaMask 1. Do you understand? Now, if I click on MetaMask, for example, you can see that I have MetaMask. Okay, running zero dollars. Okay, logged into this particular 
window. As you can see here on the tax bar, each of them opens in a separate window with a unique digital fingerprint. Okay. Now, if I go back and click on MetaMask 2 and view, you can see that the window is still, is just open. All I need to do is to install MetaMask on this window with a unique digital fingerprint. So I can safely run two, three, ten MetaMask wallets with this platform, and the maybe this the DApps or you know Web3 application or the exchange cannot dictate that I am still the one using all these MetaMask wallets. So it's as simple as that. Take for example, you manage social media accounts, okay, uh, of people from different locations from different country. So you can do that with the same, you know computer and Facebook or any social media account cannot flag it because with go login you create unique digital fingerprints for each of the social media accounts you handle so you understand the concept okay so this is by beat um all the profiles I've created you can see the pros if you want to change location this is France EU Canada UX say you know you can change the process if you want to change your location okay if you don't want to change your location just go ahead and leave them as default now you can go ahead and customize some things maybe go to settings you can see you can change some things your prosy your overview your time zone bookmark and change some things if you want to okay so as simple as that now how can you actually create a profile on go login browser now you can see this little plus icon here says add a quick profile or you can use this one here that says add profile all you need to do is to click on it so when you click on it you can name the profile anything that you want you can call it maybe coinbase too okay now you can create a folder. I have two folders here: workflow and sex. So Coinbase is a centralized exchange. I can, go, I can go ahead and add it to this centralized exchange. Now I can customize some things, but it's advisable to leave it at default. Go login prosy. You can change your country if you want to. Let me assume I want to change my country to United States. Maybe the account is based in United States. Now I can change and customize some things, but just to be on the safer side, leave it as normal default settings. Go ahead and hit on create profile. Okay. Now that's what's up. You just created a new profile called Coinbase 2. Now that I have created this Coinbase 2 profile, I can go ahead and run it by clicking on this run button. So as you can see, a new window opens up in the browser. I can go ahead and visit. Coinbase.com. I hit enter on my system. So as you can see, it takes me to Coinbase website. So as simple as that, if I go back, you can see that on this browser, I have so many profiles. Coinbase too by b2 by b2 so we can have as many multiple accounts log in from this browser called go login okay as simple as that so these are different profiles i have running this is for by bit let me check for this one this is metamask this should be coinbase exchange so once you create the profile can go ahead and run it i can run all these ones here and when you're done you can click on stop to exit now one good feature about go login is that it enhances team collaboration for example if i click on these three horizontal lines here you can see invite members i'll go ahead and click on it now what this means is this if you have a go login account and maybe you're working for a client so when you are done you can invite the client over to confirm if indeed you have done the work okay or maybe you guys have a team and you guys work in shift maybe after four hours you will go another person will take over 
you can actually invite the next person over to your workspace to continue from where you stopped. Do you understand? So it's as simple as that. You type the person's email. Let's say this at gmail.com. Okay. So when you type the person's email, you go ahead and hit on send. But before that, you can grant the person privileges. Okay. You can maybe say the person can um, run or it can edict or grant the person full access, you know, to all the profiles inside this folder. Okay. So when you are done, you click on send invitation. So that way the person will receive an email and when he, when he clicks on the link, you will now have access to your go login profile and maybe run any of the profiles or a date depending on the privilege you gave to the person. Before I forget, when you sign up with Good Login, you get 2 gigabytes of free residential process. If I click on these three horizontal lines here and I click on process, now you can see I have France 1 connected. As you can see here, I still have 0 0.3 gigabytes. I have Jamily 1 connected. I still have 0 0.3. I have United States 0 0.3 and I have France 0 0.3. So when I signed up, they were all 0 0.5 gigabytes each, making it 2 gigabytes. So that is all you need to know about Go Login. So if you care for security, you care for privacy, you care for anonymity while using the exchanges or decentralized application or you use a um, multiple account or log into multiple accounts at the same time go login is a sure bet for you okay links in the description go ahead and try it out and you won't regret doing so that's what's up see you in the next video and peace